And away we go. Green light's on. Let's switch over to the game. And then switch over to the old uh, switch over to the old YouTube chat screen, which seems to have picked it up fairly quickly. Let's pop that out. Get that going. Yes. Okay. Ta ta ta. Doing our pre-flight checks. Blah 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 blah. I wish there was a way. I keep saying I wish there were a way to automate this, because my god, I totally would. And now we got to set up my monitor to see how fast my own damn iPad catches the stream. Hopefully it'll be pretty quick so I can see the damn thing. But of course it is not. Come on, YouTube, give me my stream. la di da di da <laughs> It is not showing me my own stream. Come on, baby. Let's do it. Okay, let's go over to here. Move the cursor there while we sit on the screen and wait for YouTube to actually catch my own stream. I hope I'm streaming. It thinks I am, I think. Yeah? Am I streaming? Eh. Come on, YouTube. Show me the stream so I can monitor this dumb thing. Da, 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 da. It's not going to show it to me. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm going to fly blind here for just one minute. Here we are at Back in State of Decay 2. And today, tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this little fledgling dread community here. And uh, you know what? I'm going to check and make sure oh, I'm streaming. It's it's sending, so hopefully it's working. Um, <laughs> hooray, YouTube. No wonder it didn't send notifications. I can't even get it in the local. I can't even get my own stream on the local thing here. Um, is it even streaming? I don't know. Well, we're just going to wing it and hope for the best. Maybe it'll catch it on the cat. We'll, we'll fix it in post. Um, so I started a Dread community. This is basically intended for people like Lady X and anybody who wants else to know. Uh, when you when you when Once you complete your... Um, once you complete your legacies on Standard, and you play for a little while with veterans, and you do the thing, and blah, 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 and Standard starts to get a little easy. You think about moving up to Dread, but you're not quite sure if you can handle it or what to expect. So what I did is I started a community as if I were moving up from Standard to Dread. I did not use veterans. I used curated newbies, and there are no boons, and that's them. What I've done so far is basically just set the base up. You know, do the initial, what, hour and a half of running around the, the local neighborhood, trying to figure out what's going on and getting the base established and getting materials and building the base. And finally, there's my damn stream. So I'm going to pop these guys in here. Oh, boy, the headphones are loud. And uh, let's see what we can get going here. Let me do a little systems check to see if that even works. And uh, we'll go. Okay, so it is working. Excellent. Let's blow that thing up. Okay. So here we are, semi here. All right, Dag, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream, sir. How's it going? How you holding up, man? Um, I hope everything is going swimmingly, or at least moderately marginally well. I hope progress is being made. Okay, so with the knowledge that uh, people will probably watch this in future, I have no power and I have no water currently. I have a thousand, what have I got, a thousand uh, influence there. Nixo, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. I got a thousand influence. I got four people. I got four people. Uh, I got Sophie. Sophie, Brianna, and Jess are my starters. And Ladislau is the guy I grabbed because he was just there. But he has soundproofing, which is nice and um, which is useful in dread. Uh, you holding the buzz well. Okay, good. Okay, well, I got my fingers crossed for you, man. I will be sending... I will be sending strength to you tomorrow at random times. Um, so they're curated, right? I, they're all they're all gunslingers. They're all going to be gunslingers because she's got security guard. She's got watch western. She's already all new maxed in gunslinging. And I got agriculture mechanics, and she's going to have chemistry once I get there. True plot, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, so this is my standard layout. Gunslingers trying to get my, my three... My three um, the three skills that I like the best. Adam, how is it going? Welcome to the stream. And I have already helped out some people over here. There's a guy here who has computer skills. And I've got ammo income from them, which is very nice. Okay. This is Twain. And then we have uh, two friendlies. We got one. We got one. Uh, you know what? Twain, shut the fuck up, dude. I am so sick of you. I wish I could just turn the network off. So we're going to turn voice volume off because it annoys the crap out of me. So um, if you are starting going up from standard to dread, there are some things that, that are not immediately obvious that are useful things to know that are not described in the in the game, what the game tells you, 
Okay, so in Dread, the, the biggest change you'll notice right away is resources are more scarce. Uh, regular zombies can injure you, give you scrapes and bruises and shit like that. Uh, ferals hit harder, they will injure you more often. All juggernauts are plague juggernauts. And um, a lot of locations are pre-looted, like over here. You know, this this is one of my favorite things, pre-looted. Most of the gun shops are pre-looted. Um, a lot of the areas over here are already pre-looted. You can see the black icons here. The gun store is gone. Two of the warehouses are gone. The rear storage is gone. This ammo shop is gone. So we have a somewhat scarcity in terms of the resources, yeah? Now, the things that are not evident in Dread are in the morales, are in the screens here. Okay, number one, morale. In Dread and Nightmare, you will have a permanent minus 10 morale debuff from teeming zombie population. Okay? There's nothing you can do to get rid of this. You just have to work around it. There's nothing you can do. Um, also, things that you will note that are subtle are influence gains have been modified. Screamers are worth more. Ferals are worth more. Screamers are worth 10 instead of 5. Ferals are worth 50 instead of 25. Jugs are 100 instead of 50. I think hearts are the same. I think hearts are still 100. And um, hordes are worth more. Infestations are still 20, but hordes are 20 as well. Which means that's the subtle change that makes Dread sort of hard to adjust to when you're coming over from Standard. In Standard, you get all your resources just fine. You know, sometimes you have to scrabble for... In sometimes you have to scrabble for influence, whatever. Um, but you will be drowning in influence if you are at all active in here, which means what happens is traders become much more important in Dread because traders always have resources. Traders always have equipment that you can buy and you'll always have enough resources to do that. Okay. Is she a gunslinger? Yeah, she's, oh man, she's rocking. Okay, let me check my base. We're going to go help the soldiers out here. Um, but yeah, you can see I got no power, no water. And I've got three meds outposts. Uh, why do I have three meds outposts? I got one there, okay, one here, and then one down here. So I'm probably going to get rid of this one at some point, which is outpost two. Okay. So my plan now is, uh, usually I try to get water, but I'm on Mager, okay? And Mazara Farm has a built-in water supply, so I don't have to get that. So my goal tonight, keep these guys alive, find a computer expert, turn the power on. I need power. Okay, so she is loaded up. She's got, is there any better melee weapons in here? But right now I'm only got a thousand influence. But if you look up at my stats in my, uh, at my, uh, my resource stockpile, right? I got plenty of everything. Okay, I don't really have a burn rate at this point. I do have a burn rate on food. I'm losing one a day. Okay, but I got plus one meds, plus two ammo because of the, uh, the townsfolk. And then everything else is flat. So I'm doing pretty good. Um, I think I've mentioned this before, but don't worry so much about the burn rate. You know, you see minus one a day, you're like, oh my God, minus one a day, I'm losing, I'm losing, I'm losing food. Oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Okay, a, a day in this game is an hour and a half of real time. So if I'm burning one food a day, that means I have to, I have to find an extra rucksack of food every four and a half hours. That's pretty manageable. I think I can manage that. So as long as you've got more than, say, 15 of everything, you're fine. You don't have to worry about it for a long, long time. Okay, so what kind of cars do we have here? I got a Rapscallion, and I got this. Also, uh, cars start off damaged more often than not. Sometimes, they're just, most of the time, they're completely empty of gas. Okay, so when you find them in the field, you just can't hop in them and drive most of the time. You actually have to repair them or find them. Another thing that's curious about Dread, okay... In standard, standard mode, standard mode, there are 12 play cards on the map every time. 12. In Nightmare, there are 17 to 22, depending. It's a random number, but it's at least at least 16. It's usually around 20, 20 to 22, okay? On Dread, there's only like eight. For whatever reason, there's not that many, there's not that many um, hearts on Dread, and I don't know why that is. Survivor activity? Who's this? Uh... Hmm. Do I want to do that? Do I want to do this? Uh, let's do a wall. Let's help the soldiers out because those guys always sell ammo. And I got this. Okay. Do I have any? Are there any cars around here that I can just grab? Doesn't look like there's anything close. 
No, nah, there's no cars anywhere up here. Oh, there's one here. What's this one? Rapscallion? Okay, that's a long run, though. That the hell, I'll just take this car. Okay. Also in Dread, uh, cars are much more fragile. Especially when they are not... Um, especially when they are not armored. So in Dread... Before you move up to Dread, when you're in Standard, make a habit of driving around, not hitting Zeds. <laughs> don't hit them with the front of the car. Just don't. If you do, you'll be in a world of hurt in a very rapid, rapid, in a very big hurry. You'll be in trouble. So let's go drive up. Another thing you want to try and do in Standard to practice for Dread is drive your car at half speed. Because if you'll notice, when I get close to Zeds, when I'm driving half speed, they don't get as excited. They don't start running around all over the place. And it takes you longer to get places, but the the, the lower sound will will do you, will serve you very well. And it gives you time to avoid pop-up. <laughs> you know, so you don't accidentally run over Zeds that just materialize in front of your car when you're going when you're hauling ass. So we're gonna go real slow here. Just go real easy and uh We'll talk to the soldiers here. They're going to see our buddy's missing. Okay, whatever. Um, in Dread also, basically in Dread, the big takeaway when you're adjusting to Dread is just realize the game is 30 to 50% more difficult. In, in general, on average. Okay. There are... Um, and that's in everything. That's in everything. Come here, you. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Move, girl, move. But yeah, see how many cars showed up? See how many Zeds showed up when I stopped the car? And I just got injured. Okay. That was a dumb... That was a dumb thing to do. Okay, are we all done now? See, I forgot the first rule of Dread. When you stop a car, get the fuck away from it. And I did not do that. This is bad. So she got injured. Probably just scrapes abrasions. Yeah, scrapes. Whatever. Fine. Okay. So what I mean by 30 to 50% is where you'll feel the pinch the most is in building. Okay. Uh, getting a can of gas now costs two fuel instead of one. Sorting ammo costs two instead of just one. Creating ammo costs more. Building costs more. Maintenance costs more. Chisel Gang, E, how you doing, baby? Welcome to the stream. How are y'all doing tonight? So that's the thing. Just realize that things are going to be slightly more difficult, but not much more difficult. Hearts are about 30% harder to kill. It takes 39 bullets from a Stormbringer and 33. They have pretty much the same loot as... Uh, they have the same loot as... Um, does she have stealth? Yeah, she has... Oh, she has fighting. Does she have close combat? No, she has endurance. Fuck. Well, she needs the health. Talk to Scotty. What the fuck are you doing out here, dude? Okay, well, let's go find this dumbass. Alright. Da da da. What the hell is he doing? Where the hell out there, man? I ain't got a lot of gas. Um, hmm, do I have any outposts around here? Of course not. Shit on toast. All right. So let's go out and find Scotty out in the middle of a field somewhere. What the fuck is he doing running around? I don't... Oh, shit. Didn't want to do that. And you can see I don't have a lot of stuff discovered here. But yeah. Uh, so for Dread, just be careful. Be more quiet. Don't do what I did. Just get the hell away from the car when it stops. Um, be careful going over hills. You don't want to hit anything on the backside. Where the fuck is this guy? Oh, this is not good. I do not like flying blind. What is he doing in here? Okay, so we get out of the car, right? As soon as we stop the car, get the hell away from it. Oh, that's another thing, too. You'll notice on my minimap, he isn't showing up. You don't get pips of the minimap anymore. So when you spot freaks... 
Oh, I have to pick him up. That's what it is. I don't have to go risk it to dead friends. I have to pick him up and take him home. Come on, Scotty. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. Come on, big fella. Hope I got enough gas to do this. But Dread is not that much more hard, not that much more difficult than standard. Once you get the basic uh, extra caution. Lewis, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Didn't realize you just stated the K as well as Fallout builds. Oh my god, my own stream just died on my own fucking computer. Oh my god. Uh, are you guys having any difficulty with your streams? Or is that just my, uh, my, my shitty connection here? I hope y'all can see this still. I can, that's the thing, I don't like not being able to monitor this thing, you know? Because I can't see the... I can't see the thing. Alright. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You're good? Alright, so it's just me then. Alright, cool. I'll have to refresh this after I turn this in. But here we go. So I'm dragging a bunch of Zeds with me. I can hear them, but I can't see them, right? Because there's no pips on the radar. Here you are, safe and sound. So you stop the car, we get out of the car. All right. Let's run in here. Crouch. Talk to clean. Okay. Now you guys can take care of those. Okay, I have to start this again. Jesus, God, man. My own stream just died on my stupid laptop. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Technical difficulties, please stand by. Please stand by. Come on, man. Start. Okay. All right. We got it now. Um, Jesus, what a mess. Live. Okay. All right. All right. You buffer for a sec, but you're on your phone. All right. Well, welcome to the stream, Lewis. Yeah, I do SOD2 stuff. It's, it's intermittent. You know, I don't do it all the time, but uh, when I'm in the mood and I'm feeling spicy, and usually on Friday nights when I'm, you know, had a long week and I just want to murder shit, this is how I do it. Okay. So what do I want to do now? I want to go find. I want to go to get, get to one of my outposts here and get some gas in this car. That's what I want to do. But other than that, dread is pretty much the same. Oh, also, hordes always have armored Zeds in them now, so you just can't sit there with gunslinger and plug them. You have to. Uh, you have to um, be real careful when you're uh, taking out hordes on foot. It's still always better to run them over with a car, but like I said, practice driving backwards, practice going slow, um, don't be getting too spicy with the speed. Hello, Mr. Blutter, come on. Man. Okay, and of course, get away from the car. Groucho, how you doing, baby? Welcome to the stream. You got back into it recently, hit a wall, you're in standard mode. This is class. It's well, I've done enough standard mode stuff, and we've gone over the strategies and previous things that I'm okay with. Uh, just saying, hey, if you want tips on standard, man, just watch old watch old streams. I try to label them as best I can, so you shouldn't have to thrash around looking for shit that you don't want to see. But getting a new community up and running with newbies, getting a new community up and running with veterans, um, general tips all around, and I just throw in whatever I can think of when I'm doing stuff, and of course. If you ask, if you got anything you want to see or know, just ask. I mean, a lot of times I don't think about a lot of stuff that I do because I just I just do it. And again, always when you go into your when you go into your locker, always fix your weapons first thing. Okay, so what have I got going? I need a can of gas. I need a can of gas. I only got two. So we need to do some looting. I think we need to do some looting. We need to do some killing. Uh, we need to. I don't need to open the trunk. Thanks. But yeah, your ears are your greatest asset in Dread because you can't see the pips on the radar unless you got scouting on the mini-map. And uh, even with speakers, the sound separation and the parallax is pretty good in this game. So you can, with a little bit of practice and listening, you can tell where the zombies are. Okay, so I've looted everything around here. I got an infestation there. I got meet the neighbors here. Ladislau, he's not a slinger, so I'm not doing that mission. Because meet the neighbors involves killing hostiles. Hostile enemies... Are much are more difficult here. You can't just one shot them in the head and they drop. You need to hit them with at least two bullets or sometimes three. What I'll do for that is I'll take an I'll take a uh, I'll take a uh, a big weapon like a Stormbringer and put it on burst and just drill them. <clears throat> Try the nightmare mode and it got destroyed. Yeah, nightmare nightmare is something that you don't want to enter into lightly. <laughs> As I found out. 
as you all saw when I, when I tried it when they first released it. Okay, so I am strapped for ammo. Do I have any presses? I have a press. I have a rifle press, and I've got a white noise machine. But I need bullets, man. I need bullets. Okay. So in... Let me install that, then. Let me install that... Um, Oh, I've got the, I've got the, oh, I must have had an ammo trader come to town. So I've got that press installed. So what we're going to do is we're going to install this press. And we're going to be real careful, real careful. Nightmare is an entirely different kettle of fish. Nightmare is something that once you've mastered, once you can do a full legacy on any legacy on Dread with newbies, then you can probably manage Nightmare. But if you want to just get the new, the Nightmare boons, my recommendation is start a, uh, Start a community on standard, playing for like 20 days, get them all stocked up, leveled up, jacked up, and then uh, if you play on Xbox, I can give you many, many bullets. Oh no, I play on uh, I play on PC because it's now look at that. You see that? I have a suppressor on this gun, dude, and they all came straight for me. Okay, but a horde was worth 20, and he's worth 10. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit here and kill these guys a little bit. While I wait for that, uh, Lady X, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Yes, the intro has information, Lady X. So when you watch this later, it has intro on Dread. We're playing Dread mode, no boons, curated newbies, and we're on like day four. Okay, so I've got most of the map unexplored. I don't have power yet. I don't have water. Um, I only have four survivors. I got a guy with computers, but I can't upgrade my thing until um, I can't upgrade my command center until I get power. And to get power, I need two thousand. I need 2,000 influence, and I don't have that. <laughs> you watch it multiple times. <laughs> okay. So far, all we've done is one mission for the uh, the soldiers, and I've turned off the voices, so you won't hear any any babbling other than mine. Um, what I want to do is kill this friggin' plague heart. I really want to kill this plague heart. But to do that, I need ammunition for that big gun I have. And to get ammunition, I need to get my press in. No boons? Yeah, no boons. Like, this is like... This group here, Lady X, is how you would start, how anybody who is coming up from standard would start. Because until you unlock the boon at a higher difficulty, you don't have it. So if you unlock all four in standard and then move to dread, you won't have any boons. Strangers in the night. Hey, Eric, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to try and explain how this differs from, from other things. Now, the good thing is my community is empowered, which is nice. So, what we're going to do is we're going to wait another 17 seconds for that thing to go. And I'm going to burn up all my friggin... Because I don't have any munitions survivor yet, so I can only make 45 bullets per pull. But we're going to see one of the, the 30 to 50% difficulty things I was talking about when I make ammo. Yeah. Be a good reason to build solar. Yeah, if I had if I had a guy with utilities, yes. But I don't have anyone with utilities. I don't have any of that stuff yet. These guys are like literally day four. Okay. So remember I was telling you about the increased cost to produce stuff? In standard, making a stack of ammo, making a stack of 7.62 costs three resources. Here, it costs five. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to make one, and I'm going to make two, and I'm going to make three. That will give me 120 rounds. So we're going to put this away, and we're going to get that big bastard out. Now, do I have... I do not have... Yes, I got a Stormbringer, and I got a Suppressor. And we have 146 rounds. So now we're going to load this bad boy up. Yeah? Okay. We are not going to fuck around here. We're just going to go murder that thing. Now, I don't have any light. Do I have a halogen tool? No, I don't have any light. I don't have any light. Um, don't have any light wet hand up. A bike generator. I could do that, but I want to make sure I can upgrade the thing. I, I just need power in general. So the, the blah, blah, blah. so kill and play cards is pretty much the same. Scout it out, find it through the window, get up on your car, and drill it. On dread, you really need to watch out for bloaters because you can't see them coming. They're hard to hear coming. And uh, and when I stop this car. I'm going to have every Zed within, you know, 100 yards come check it out. So we're going to go back and forth here, right? Clear out the trash, make sure there's no bloaters. Be real careful here. These are not something you want to mess with right now. Come on, boys. Okay. 20 influence there. Come on. So I want to clear out as much trash as I can before I start this. 
and these are just going to keep coming and keep spawning. Yeah. So, let's go, boys. Any bloaters? No? Okay, are we good? Yeah, I don't see anybody else. Okay, so now I can do this. You can see the play card glowing in there. Very nice. Now on the Rapscallion, you have to jump up on it on the back. But see, look at that. I had a perfectly fixed car. I ran over like 20 zombies from behind. I already lost a door. So. Here comes the Feral. And there we go. Okay, and see, he's worth 50 influence. So you always get a, you'll almost always get a feral when you take out a play card. So keep that in mind. <laughs> always a feral, almost always a feral, almost always a bloater. Clear the area. Be really careful. And once you get done killing it, be real careful about picking things up because they will wander in from a significantly further direction, for significantly further distance than they do in uh, standard. Their hearing is about 50% better. And they take about 50% longer to give up. Okay, so zombies will chase you for a very long time, and they will pick you up from a very long distance. Here, let me show you. I'm just gonna jog up now. Watch how quickly he lurches to me. Right. Oh no. Huh. Okay. Never mind. He's asleep. But normally, when I run around and try and try and aggro him, it they aggro from about 20 feet away. So if I run here. Look at that. Look how far I am from him. And he picked me up. So, keep that in mind. Pyro Launcher. No, I don't have that DLC item. I know I just have the base game and um, I have the base game and um, Heartland. Those are the only two I did. Cuz I didn't get I didn't know if I was going to like the game at first and then I saw what was in the pack and I'm like, ah, "I'm not really interested in that stuff." So, but yeah, but like this, what we just did here, pretty much the same as standard with just a little, a couple more bullets, a couple more Zeds, slightly more fragile car, an extra feral, little tiny details, right? But they add up. So if you don't, if you haven't yet adjusted mentally to the, to the difficulty of it, it can be, oh, and um, Dread adds toolkits to the mix in Plagueheart loot. Dread adds toolkits, and then Nightmare adds rucksacks. You actually get rucksacks of resources. Um, Daybreak is shocking. Daybreak's a grind, dude, from what I heard, man. It's just, it's, it's just, it's just grindy, you know. And I saw that, and I'm like, yeah, I don't do multi anyway, so whatever. And, uh, but yeah, that kind of episodic, you know, repetitive thing doesn't really interest me that much. Not a, uh, not a thing. And the rewards aren't really worth it for me personally because I like the base game. So I'm happy with the base game. Okay, so we're all, we're all fueled up. We got all our stuff out. We got a play card dead. Oh, okay. That also is something you guys need to know that's different. Okay. So uh, we mentioned at the start that the morale hit, the morale hit is minus 10 for teaming zombie population, right? You always have a minus 10 morale debuff. What Dread and Nightmare give you in exchange is temporary buffs when you do certain actions. Like you can see here, Recent Kill Plague Heart gives me plus 20 morale for an hour. Okay, Killing a Jug of Recent Kill Feral gives me plus 4 for a half an hour. Okay, Or 25 minutes. Killing a Jug gives you some. Killing a Horde gives you some. Recent Kill Horde gives you plus 3 for like 10 minutes. And then recruiting a new person gives you some. So you get these little buffs all over the place that enable you to at least manage... By staying active, you can sort of manage your um, manage your morale. So if you're, when you see when you play in dread and you see mor your morale bouncing up and down all the time, it's because you're doing stuff, which is a nice which is a nice um, a nice little perk. It's something that was uh, that's one of those game design decisions where I'm like, that's a good idea. That's really cool, guys. It's really cool of you to do that. So, but yeah, you hit a screamer, you get ten. When you kill a horde, you get twenty. So it's like, yeah. And there goes a bloater. Okay, whatever. Don't care. Now get out of the car. And when you get out of the car, look around. Make sure nobody's following you. I knew he was there, though. Alright. 
Okay, so now it's daytime. I feel a little bit better. <laughs> I like daytime a little bit better. But now, you see, we are suffering because we do not have ammunition laid up. And that makes me nervous. So let's put this gun away. Let's take this gun out. And then we need this. So let's put, um, let's put the little press back in. Uh, the little press goes here. Yeah. Okay. Do I have anything else that needs doing? Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, no. No. I need to do water. I got a water cooler in here. Let's do the water. Okay. Good. That gives me more yield. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. Daybreak is twitchier, but... I mean, daybreak. <laughs> Dread mode is twitchier, but it's still basically the same game. The trick is finding the resources you need. And always being on the lookout for traders. Always, always be on the lookout for traders. Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff to loot here. I'd love to kill that fucking thing. That's in the tract house, though. Survivor activity? Sure, let's see if, let's see if they're uh, not exactly in trouble. Okay, let's turn the, uh, let's turn the um, voice back on now that it's daytime. Dun, dun, dun. Right okay. away. Oh no, she's tired. No, no, get out. Of course, being able to switch survivors at your base in safety is a godsend. Um, let's put that away. And we'll switch to... Okay, Sophie's still sick, so Brianna comes out. How many days in? Uh, like three? Three, I think? We're doing great. Oh shit, I put the gun away, didn't I? I have another one, don't I? No, I don't. Fuck. Okay. Let's switch her out. Let's get her back out. I only have one. I only have one really good suppressed gun right now, <laughs> so they all have to share it. And uh, yeah, come here, you. Come here, you. Okay, this is really chuggy. Okay, hold on a second, guys. I gotta check something really quick. Uh, I'm at 16 by nine. Let me check my settings here. Make sure I'm make sure I'm outputting what I think I'm outputting. Yeah, it's 16 by nine. Okay. All right. Cool. Had to do some check. Had to do some checking here. Okay. All right. Uh, we got that gun. We got this. No. We got to put that away. We're going to the dev grew. I already hit five of the six weapon cases as well, guys, to see if I could find any decent guns. And uh, I didn't get much of anything. <laughs> so, so, uh, yeah. Okay. Come here, you. She's really cool. She got a matching backpack really early on, which I like because I'm a Care Bear. I'm a Care Bear. All right. Let's go do this. Dun, dun, dun. What base are you going to go for later on down the line? Uh, Mazara. I always go for Mazara, Mazara for mid to, mid to late game. And then when I'm getting ready to switch maps, I'll move to the police station. But if I'm not switching maps and legacy now, I'll just stay in Mazara. Mazara is cheap. Look at the size of that fucking horde. Ooh, that's a big horde. Look at them all. Hey, boys, how you doing? Yeah, look at that. Back window's already gone. Just one. I haven't even killed one horde, and the back window's already gone. Okay. Another horde right here. And there's the armored guys. See him? Fuckers. Always hit him going backwards. Man, this is really chuggy today for some reason. I don't have anything running, though. Okay, all done. Now let's go check out the disturbance over here in the barn. But yeah, I go for Mazara because I get free water. That way all I need is power. And that is, that is a huge, that is a huge, yeah, shut up, dude. What? She doesn't have Gunslinger yet? She does not. Oh, that's a problem. I'm here. Hey girl, what's up? The equipment Did shed? You say so. Yeah, let's go through that. Let's go Keep to the equipment away. shed. But yeah, I do, uh, on Dread, on No Boons Dread, or any No Boons start, always Mazara. Mazara gives me free water, and then on if I'm on Drucker and I go to Mike's, I get free, uh, I get free power. I mean, it costs, you know, it costs uh, fuel, but I don't have to spend 2,000 influence to get a, uh, I don't spend 2,000 influence to get a outpost. JPEG, how you doing, baby? Welcome to the stream. Go, go, and, there, go. and see, another horde. There are hordes everywhere, dude. I'm on day four, and the hordes are already... What, how big are they? Eight, ten? Yeah, no, we're not doing that. 
But the more you drive around, the more Zed you attract. There's no help for it. And she and a gunslinger, so I just can't wipe them out. Okay. All right. That Zed just saw us. Okay, the controls are really sluggish tonight, so if I miss more than normal, guys. Been on this map 17 days, haven't <laughs> uh, I wouldn't really want to know. Okay, let's go to the material shed. I think I've already yeah, looted it. That's the place I'm looking for. And there's zombies. Dead over there, but it doesn't see us yet. Anybody else? But see, look at that. I killed that one way the hell over there, and they're already getting excited. <laughs> Gotta be real calm here, because I don't have gunslinging yet. Come on. And pop. pop. Hey, there it is. Booyah. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, asshole. What's up, buddy? Yeah, no, we're not doing that. The materials will be right here. Is she got stealth? Yeah, okay. Cool. Zombies remaining. I don't see no zombies. I don't hear no zombies. Dun, 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 dun. This could be a big help. Hey, I found it. Yeah, you fight him off. Well, look at her go. Yay. Merry Christmas to me. Yeah, Merry Christmas to me indeed. Let's put this in the car. I need materials. Um, got gunslinging now, baby. It's party time. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, put this away. We'll go get you the other one. Come on, girl. Let's go get you that other one. Marathon's at three. But yeah, it's, you know, you can see it here that it's not, you just got to be a little bit more careful, a little bit more cautious, listen to it a little bit more um, on a bad night. Well, the thing is, JPEG, I'm, I'm streaming it on the same on the same machine I'm playing it on, and I get a little bit of, no matter, you know, I, I got it at 16 by 9 and 30 frames a second, and it's still, it's still kind of on the choppy side. I don't get the instant response like I do from, uh, yeah, no. Like I do when I'm playing without, you know, without the thing. Yeah, this is Gunslinger. Whenever you see me without the, I'm not zoomed in, and it just quickly goes to their head, that's Gunslinger. Like this. I mean, just it's inst it's like an instant kill button. It's like, yeah. Give me ammo, girl. I wish I could give you something more. But Fucking food? Seriously? Canned goods, though. That's four units. I something more, but please take this. Talk to my join my community. But, well, I'm desperate. Okay, uh, girl, what have you got? You got a crossbow and you got a machete? I think I'd make a good addition to the right <sighs> team. Well, you got foreign shooting, but your cardio sucks. How much influence I got? 1,600? I think I'd make a good addition to the right team. You know what? The more the merrier, right? Yeah, let's Seriously, do it. Though, I need a fifth person to get the fucking right. car. Follow me. I promise I don't bite. Get in the car. So, okay, change of plan. When I first started the game, I'm like, okay, I need to get a power outpost. I need 2,000 influence. Oh my god, I gotta get this, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, fuck that. We're moving. <laughs> I'm moving. Oh, shit. See what I mean about the pop in? <laughs> Oops. Give her a chance. Now I'm just gonna use her for the uh, use her for the head count, dude. And then I'm going to uh, I'm gonna use her for the head count and then uh, move into Mazara right now so I can get water going. Okay, you need to give me that uh -huh. rucksack. Give me that. Do I have any rucks in here? Yeah, I got some rucks in there. Okay, come on. Let's put all this stuff in the truck. Oh, another thing about Dread 2 Lady X is buildings cost more to build. So if you do, if you start a community in standard and move them over, bring a lot of materials with you. It's even worse than Nightmare. Good to have you here. Thank you so much. Okay, so we got a new person, right? And if you look in here, it says recent event, new recruit. So I got 10 more t 10 more morale for an hour. Hmm? So that's not too shabby. You can stack up your little bonuses and um, get a m reasonably decent amount of morale. Okay, so now we take a chance, right? Upgrade your command center. Yeah, I need power for that, guys. Probably not going to be able to get that tonight. So let's go ahead and go. Let's just go. 
You get to keep everything except Boon Jiao. Yeah, you can stock it. That's how I did Nightmare. <laughs> Lady X. I took a community in Standard. I jacked him up, got a whole bunch of guns. It's because, okay, so changing difficulty midstream is like changing bases. You keep your cars, you keep your locker, keep your survivors, keep your equipment, and you just, they dump you in the starting base on the new map in the higher difficulty mode. Uh, there's a plague juggernaut. See that big bastard? Yeah, I ain't messing with him. He takes too much ammo. He ain't worth killing. Okay. So, gives a ruck. Yeah, I, I give a ruck, but I can't get a fucking ruck, dude. <laughs> There's no... All the locations are pre-looted for the most part, you know? All the good ammo spots are dead, so I'm like, fuck, I can't... I can't do. So now we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to ease out here. While it's daytime, we're just going to haul ass and get down to Mazara and get that hooked up. Because if I get Mazara going, if I get that water going... I love Mazara, by the way. Because it's, it's sitting in the middle of a field, right? So it's got really easy egress and ingress. It's easy to get in and out. It's easy to park. Uh, it's easy to train your survivors because there's this big open field. You can just run loops and kill shit like you saw me do in the close combat video. Oh, nope. Okay, don't hit them. Don't hit zombies. Don't hit them. So now go cruising. Go real, real slow, real easy. We have some news to share. Oh, oh somebody's in town with good stuff to trade. Yeah, fuck you, dude. Oh, ugh. I don't have any influence to buy anything. Son of a... Son of a bitch. I'll go look anyway. Maybe I can get, maybe I can get a suppressor off of them. Okay. So now we're in Mazara. Now watch how far these Zeds will chase me. Oh no, they stopped. Look at that. If we're being honest... I don't know what that acronym means. I don't give a... I don't give a... Dun, dun, dun. Okay, hang on a sec. Let me turn off this thing again, because I need to be able to hear if there are Zeds in here. <laughs> nice! <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm a dipshit. Yep, there's some in here. And see, if she was yapping, I wouldn't be able to hear them. So now i got to be real careful, because if I start shooting in here... Okay, I see you. Okay, two in that room, and then one on the left. Yeah? Where are you at, you little fuckers? Maybe they're in here? No? Okay, are you guys up? No, you're not up. Okay. You are in the corner. Okay. Now there's two left, and they're in this side room, and I can't fucking see them. Everybody be quiet. Thanks for standing up. See, look at that shit. Turbo. Fuck you, dude. No, no, you don't get to be that fast. That's bullshit. That's the weakest thing. Okay. So now we're moving. Now we're moving. First things first. First thing you build, watchtower. Come on. Build a watchtower. Come on, come on, come on. Watchtower. Lounge. Come on, lounge. And then infirmary. Yeah. And then workshop. Okay. Now we get the hell away from here, yeah? Got to get away from this. He would only cost a thousand influence to move in here, too. Okay, so he's in the middle of the field, which means he'll be as far away from any possible outposts as he can get. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get away from the base, because there's going to be an attack. All right. Now let's go check out this traitor, see if he's got anything worth the piss, and I've got 700 influence. Won't even be able to make an outpost, for Christ's sake. But, but you never know. You never know. Oh, man. Oh, a Jeep. It's burnt out, but it's a Jeep. Okay. Project, great. Watch, he's gonna be in here, right? Yep, he's in here, sure as hell. That zombie's running in there. Son of a bitch. See, I like when they're near outposts. That way I can shuttle things back and forth to them as cell stuff. But when they're in this isolated shit like this, I can't. Because there's no outpost nearby. No. No. 
Yeah, wow, it's really chuggy. Okay. I hear you. Yeah, I see you. Okay, good. She'll have an advanced suppressor at least. I wish the traders wouldn't wear zombie as cologne, but what are you gonna do, right? Okay, we all done now? Cool. No suppressors. Oh shit. Yeah, you shush. Come on. Keep coming. Keep coming from all over the fucking world. Come on. Look at this shit. They just continually come. Okay, are we all fucking done now? Okay, good. He doesn't have any suppressors. Another thing they need to do is these NPCs need to hold the fuck still. Uh, but that is the business right there. That is what I've been looking for right there. Light vehicle upgrade kit. No facility mods that I care about, but I want that. And of course he has all the good books. No, he doesn't have gunslinging. Cardio, wits, and fighting. Okay. Some shit weapons there. A BML-40 and no advanced suppressor. But I have got, I have got an upgrade kit. Ho, ho, ho. Dun, dun, dun. Did I turn? I didn't turn this thing back on. Yeah. It's your juicy tonight. <laughs> the sound. I. <laughs> That's the location of the final battle. This thing? No, it's the, uh, the final battle for, um, for traitor and um, traitor and warlord is that big uh, is that thing right there is the the washed up building this thing's just a factory ba -ba -ba. but I've got an upgrade kit yay ah uh, upgrade kit yeah there's a little bit of there's a little bit of slop in here yeah see look at that. That's how far they hear their their buddies dying. Come on, man. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, sorry, big guy. You're too big to be moving that fast. Okay, while I'm here, let me go ahead and uh, drop this off in here. Da -da -da. Now, I know there's usually a meds... There's usually a meds rucksack in here somewhere along with um, chemicals. You don't mind a little slop. <laughs> it depends entirely, entirely on the context, Mr. Odeth. <laughs> oh, also, JPEG, while I'm doing this searching shit, I meant to tell you. I tried your, uh, I followed your advice, and I started, I played around with starting with just three randos, you know, on standard. Just to see what it was like. I did it like five or six times just to see what the difference was. And... It turns out I can't be sure of this, okay? I cannot be sure of this. But from my limited testing, I'm starting, like, five or six communities and leveling them to, like, day two, just, you know, to see what it was like. When the game spits out three randos, just like in the tutorial characters, it tends to give you traits... It tends to give you traits that run the entire spectrum of specialties. Like when you roll, when you roll three people, one of them will probably be a gunslinger, one of them will probably have sharpshooting, one will probably have assault. I can't everywhere be this quiet. Maybe they'll have both, whatever. Same thing with the with all the other specialties, you know. Some will have discipline, resources, scouting, some resourcefulness. They'll have striking and swordplay That's and close nice. combat. It's Ish. like the game wants to give you the opportunity to try out all the specialties with a random starting crew. Which, since I play a certain way, drives me up the fucking wall. But, but, um, if that's the case, if that is indeed how they do it, like they seed those first three randos with complementary overlapping and, um, you know, total package specializations, that would be clever as hell. That'd be really, really smart and really, really cool. Okay, so we need to build ourselves a farm. Let's get that going. And we have a well house. And look at that. Boom! Base wide water. All I gotta do is just take three seconds. It's worthwhile to some players. It's it's good. It's good for people who don't know how to play the game. You know, like if you're starting a brand new game and just start with three randos, you know, not knowing any better, it will still give you the opportunity to learn everything, which is 
Oh, fuck you. No, we're not doing that. You hear a feral? The instant the instant you hear a feral, man. Up. <laughs> up, up, up. Do not. I think you're over here somewhere. There's a bunch of fucking trees and I can't see anything. Come on, you little shit. Where are you? I hear you. Okay, good. He's going after the traitor. Sweet! Easy influence for me. Take that, you feral <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Easy influence for me. La -dee -dee. Thanks for tanking for me, big guy. Is it worthwhile? Yeah, it's worthwhile to most players, especially new ones. When you don't know your playstyle yet and you don't know what you want, it's good that it gives you the opportunity to um, to try everything out. Yeah. At least if that's the way it actually works. I don't know if it does or not, but if it does, that'd be cool as hell. You gotta be careful here. Because I really want to upgrade this car and like right fucking now. Right now, I want my hell in. I'm hoping I get a green. I wish you could specify which color you get, that'd be kind of neat. But you can't, at least as far as I know. The feral hordes are in nightmare, correct. The feral hordes are in nightmare. Free chords in general are in Nightmare. They are not in Dread. Dread is just Plague Jugs. Plague Jugs, double XP for everything. Uh, the Ferals do hit harder. Okay? They definitely hit harder. And they injure you more. Um, but they don't come in They don't come in threes. Yeah, no. That's only Dread. Dread is just... It's like I said, Dread is 30 to 50% more difficult. Did you say it's going to be a video? Yeah, once... um. Once I get done streaming, YouTube processes it and makes it available for just regular viewing. Takes about I remember when seeing a pack of zombies headed for the door, you six work. hours or so. Not today though. Yeah, see? We're gonna get a base attack, so I'm gonna cheese ball the fuck out of this. Okay, put that in there, put this in here, that and this. We're gonna upgrade this motherfucker right now. Right now. We're not gonna go in the base, come on. Okay. Ready? Just a sweet new hey, we got Barry. Take it out for a spin? We got Barry this time. Oh, and a first aid kit in the trunk. Nice. Okay. Come on. Doo -doo -doo. Come on, people, let's fight. As if we have a choice. Oh, we have a choice. I'm getting the fuck out of here. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm getting the hell out of here. See, you wouldn't want to be you. I need to find some ammo, man. I need to find some ammo. Uh, just shut over here. I feel so much better now. I, I feel so much more confident and secure when I have my Hellion. I love this car. Best car in the game. You gonna ditch and go to bed? All right. Thanks for stopping by, Lewis. Don't forget we're gonna be streaming Fallout 4 building on the, on Sunday. Noon Central. Yeah, let's win this one, whatever. But look how many Zeds show up, man. Look at this. There's what, at least a dozen of them, yeah? And they just keep coming. Thankfully, I've got a mechanic, so... More creeps are coming soon. I just know it. Come on. Da -da -da. And more, and more. Oh, and look. Here's three more. Just showed up. Two no more on the side. The we got another wave coming. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. God damn it. Look how fast the window blew out. Here, get off me, man. Yeah, look at this. I've already lost the windshield, side window, and the back window. But that's why you get away from your car when you get out of the car. What did I just kill? About 25 fucking zombies just to get out of the car? It's like, thanks, guys. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. How are we doing? Um, This just locked up. Okay, so now we got a problem. Um, let's see if it actually comes back. Hold on a second, guys. Maybe it just hung up a little bit. Um, wow, I've never actually had it locked up before. Uh, hmm. Temporary difficulties, technical difficulties, please stand by. Um, yeah, well, I can't even switch back to it. Okay, so let's hope that it comes back on its own. Um, let's see, state of decay 2. Yeah, it completely froze. Okay, so, uh, 
we're going to stop this. I'm going to close the window. Do doop. And then restart it. Hopefully it will be okay. I don't know what you guys are seeing. Hopefully this comes back quick and there will be a black screen for all forever. Let me put up my ad. You can subscribe to a black fucking screen, yeah? <laughs> Time to make a mint tea. Yeah, hopefully I didn't lose too much here, but uh, we're going to find out. I have never actually seen that. I've never actually crashed like that before. Okay. Okay. Let's try this again, shall we? La dee dee. Dee dee. Press the new button to continue. Okay. Come on. Looks like the stream came in. Stream, yeah, it was dread. 8.27 p.m. Okay, so maybe I didn't lose that much. Maybe I didn't lose that much. <sighs> Okay. We have a few zombies coming toward base. Nothing we can't handle, though. Great. Fantastic. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, I'm here. Jeff, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Good timing. I just rebooted the game. Just restarted the game. Uh, let's see. What outpost do I have? I have that one. Have I looted the shit around those? Yes, I looted that one. So, outpost two can probably go. Okay, let's get rid of outpost two. Okay, so Lady X, here we are. Here's a house, right? Here's a house with four locations. We've got a shack nearby, and we've got a gun shed right here. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to explore the gun shed first, since it's right next to the house. And Nothing as soon as it goes clear, here. look at that. The entire house is inside. All the, all the spawn spots are in the white circle. So now we know the house is going to be clear. Da, 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 da. So now I know. There's going to be no Zeds in here. <laughs> I can just clear this house in perfect fucking safety. Yay! And it's got five and potentially ammo. So we're going to make an outpost here. Probably shouldn't, but we're going to... Scott, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Consider this outpost done. Okay, now we switch to Ladislao. Come on, Ladislao. Start the uh, start the zombie attack. Come on, people, let's fight. As if we have a choice. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, here she is. And look at the zombies; they're already back. Well, no, that's right. I rebooted. Never mind. Okay, I'm going. I'm doing this one first because I need the ammo. Four. And we got a high probability of getting an ammo ruck out of this place. Yeah, whatever. It'll be fine. Uh, crap there. Oh, and when I say the 30 to, the 30 to 50 percent thing I was telling you guys about, assume that the loot table is 30 to 50 percent pre-looted. So when you open up new containers on a fresh map, you're not going to get as good loot as you normally do. Let's look at this shit. What have I got? I got 12 bullets and 13 parts out of three containers in a gun shed. So I ain't gonna get no ammo ruck out of this thing. Come on. What kind of shit are you gonna put in here? A rifle ammo press. I already got one. But yeah. <laughs> a four container. Yep. A f Looks like we're not done yet. A four container a four container gun shed with three of the best containers lootable, and I get nothing but fucking parts. I am full of bullets and an ammo press. I mean the ammo press is nice, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining about that, but twelve bullets, dude. Twelve bullets. That sucks. That is fucking dread. That's that's what it is, Lady X. Atticus, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing tonight, sir? One? Should be chemicals in here. Dun, 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 dun. Can't speed search yet, because I don't have seven stealth. Okay, good. At least I got some fucking chemicals. I need a chemistry book, though, man. Is she the one that needs... No, she's got mechanics. She's got mechanics... God, this is so chuggy. Why is this so chuggy? It should not be this chuggy. Seeds. Okay, so we got five locations, potentially food and ammo. We got a handful of seeds, nothing, some chemicals and parts. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, and I lost a mysterious wandering trader, too. Some parts, yeah. And then... Oh yeah, it's gonna be on the porch, isn't it? It's gonna be the shitty fucking gas can, ain't it? No. 
What did I miss? Did I miss something in here? I must have, but where? Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, the little the little lunchbox on the I counter. I searched everywhere I can. Yeah. So five locations, potentially food and ammo. And what do I get? Nine parts, five seeds, and three chemicals. Yeah. So yeah, you get shit loot. <laughs> That's why when the traders come to town, visit them. That's where you'll be getting most of your supplies from, because you will not be looting them. Is Squalonis any good? Squalonis, the, the, um, this thing here, the brewery, it's, it's a really, a lot of people like it. It's very popular. It's got a lot of, it's got a lot of potential. Okay. I don't like it because the safe zone, the actual area of the base is very large and you, you, you're always, the zombies will spawn at the edge of a safe zone, right? So what happens is your survivors are getting too close to the edge of the safe zone just by wandering around the base, and there's always zombies wandering in. It is a gigantic pain in my ass. It's a great, it's a great base, but I find it irritating to live in because of that. Because the Zeds are constantly in your fucking base. It dries me up the wall. I mean, every time I come into base, I drag 10 Zed in. And as soon as they start fighting, there's like six more on the outside of the ring and they just immediately wander in. It's just a pain in the ass top to bottom. With this base, though, let me show you. Let me get rid of that feral, though. I know he's coming. Where are you at, you little fucker? Come on. I know you're down here. Yeah, there's definitely some lag there. Let me show you why I like this base. Where's that fucking feral, though? Come on, Skippy. Where you at? I heard you. Where you at, dude? I think we've got a handle on living through this end of the world thing. Um, also some advice when you're playing, uh, when you're playing Dread. Sorry, I'm looking for that feral. Um, as soon as you hear any noise that sounds like a freak, stop. Just stop. Whatever you're doing, stop. Doesn't matter. You're looting, talk to somebody, help somebody, fuck it. Nope, stop. You've got to find the Feral. Because he will not show up on the map. And they can fuck you up badly. Take that, you Feral fuck. Yeah, you little piece of shit. But see, even with a suppressor, look at that. Look at how far he's running to the source of the sound. That's the key. That's, that's, um, that's another thing, too. Whenever you make noise, Zeds go to the sound source. We covered that in Nightmare, but I'm going to cover here again. They can hear really good. Like him? See how far he is away? Watch. He heard that. This is an integrally suppressed gun, dude, with 9mm ammo. And that fucker heard that from what? About 40 feet away. And they hear in a circle. So get a crossbow? Nah, dude, I got gunslinging. I'm going to... I gut it out. You did your legacy of Mazara? Yeah, this... Mazara is nice because if you look, right... This is the outside of the actual base area. Look how far I am from the edge of the circle. I mean, literally, that little tiny square here is is just got this huge buffer around the outside, which is why I like it. Zeds, I mean, when you get hordes wandering down the road here in front, which they do frequently, they will not wander into the base. They will not hear anything in the base. Good to see you. So, I, yeah, I like this a lot. And we're still here. Cheers to us. Okay. So, we can upgrade this. Let's upgrade that. And let's put... Oh, I don't have power yet. See? I need more power. More power. Do I have a cast making kit? Yes, I do. Let's get that in there. Okay. Another thing I like about Mazara, especially on No Boons Runs and on Dreaded Nightmare, is um, Mazara has this built in. It has a country kitchen, which lets you run feasts and uh, it lets you run feasts without a cook. And that'll give you 20 max stamina and 10 morale for just three food. And since this place is a food bonanza, better get a crossbow. I I don't like crossbows. I'd, I'd rather just shoot guns and just and gut it out, or just go for stealth kills. They don't. Um, they don't. I mean, they're fun to fart around with. I like them when I get a pathologist. And, you know, you could just go around and start harvesting. Uh, start harvesting um, samples. But crossbows, they're they're too they're too gimmicky. I don't like them. They don't, uh, they don't, uh, I don't have the, uh, the whole Walking Dead cosplay desire. Give me guns, man. Give me guns, give me cars. 
I don't mind making noise. I can handle it. I can just run away. All right. Last mag in. So we're building our base. We just had an attack, so we're not going to have another one for a long time. And I need fucking ammo. And those sheds are both empty. Those sheds are empty. Anyone free over there? We can use some help. That shed is not. Okay, let's go see if I can get some ammo here. The 10 shot means lots of Yeah, the 10 shot means a lot of stealth kills, but you have to either get a traitor for that, or you need to kill that psychopath. And since he's a hostile NPC, he takes a lot of ammunition or a heavy gun, or you gotta be a really good shot. And I am none of those things quite yet. So I am being very, very careful here. Okay, come on. Now another thing to remember is when you stop, get away from the car. Get away from the car, let him chase you. Let him chase you, go into stealth. See if they follow. They do not. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, crossbows. Crossbows are good if that's all I've got, and I only use the light crossbow because I hate I hate running heavy. Um, but yeah, see him? Look at them. They're gathered around the car. I right? think I'm in over my head here. Can anyone help? Yeah, I see two of them around the car. So let's go ahead and uh, murder you assholes. Don't have to worry about your bullshit. Okay. You're dead, and you are dead. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. What's her stealth at? Five? Are we empowered? No, we're still empowered. Good. Okay. Let's see if we can find some friggin' ammo in this stupid shed here. Okay, crossbow bolts in here. Of Zeds. Whatever. Love the screwdriver. Yeah, I love it when they dig it in their ear and just yank them down and use it as a handle. It's friggin' awesome. The other one where they just they kick their legs out and then stab them, ground kill them. It's like, that's all right. Not as visceral. Let's see if we can get some ammo out of here. Need some ammo. But yeah, I like Mazara a lot on this map. Mazara in the police station. I don't like Whitney Field because I've had too many survivors get killed in... You need to kill somebody, right? The Wanderers are threatened us. It's time to get rid of them. Yeah, I can't kill. Finally. Good. Finally got some decent shit here. But again, crap weapons, right? Normally in these gun sheds you get really decent, moderately decent weapons. But here I got, what, a Bolt Scout? Two 1022 carbines. Pfft. Yeah, pieces of shit. Okay, we got any more Zeds wandering up? No. Okay. Fences are not your friend in dread because you can't see them, right? You don't want to make noise. Okay, let's do this. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, at this point in dread, normally what I would do is just skill these guys up. I would sneak around, prep 1020 as a boss. Ugh, uh, I guess. Now that's heavy. If you say so. <laughs> I would rather use any gun in the game other than a prepper 1022, man. It disintegrates in your hand. It takes a month and a half to reload. It's, uh, it, it, no, no, and it's heavy to boot. It's like, it's just, oh, it's awful. It's just awful. It is, it's saving graces. It's quiet, but it's flimsy, man. And when you play in Dread and Nightmare and parts are at a premium, I can't be sitting here fixing my guns all the goddamn time. I need to make toolkits. So yeah, no, Preppers 1022 is, in my opinion, in my opinion, one of the worst, if not the worst, weapon in the game. In terms of reload speed, durability, maintenance. Two hordes, look at this shit. And one's an XL horde. Okay, Lady Lady X. An XL horde, extra large horde, is a horde that has two screamers and a feral in it. Okay? Plus the regulars. Come on, Mr. Feral. Come on. There we go. Ah, we didn't need it. And the door's gone. Yeah? A hellion. I lost a door in a hellion going through a horde. Hello, Screamers. How you guys doing? Yeah, I ain't doing that shit. Come on, Pharaoh. Come on, big fella. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, don't hit him with the front of the car, dude. But this will give you an idea of just how much more friendly the cars are, yeah? I lost a door running over two horns. Red Talon Traitor! Oh! I don't have any fucking influence, do I? What's 728? Yeah. There we go. Under the wheels you go, big fella. Okay, now I gotta fix this fucking car. <laughs> I 
Okay. Nice and quiet. But yeah, that's the size of the hordes on day four on Dread. Okay? They ain't no joke. <laughs> there ain't no joke, man. Might have an extra door. I got an extra door in my toolkits, man. The toolkits repair the doors. Okay. Let's just put all that stuff in there. Yeah. Let's get a toolkit out of I've got one. Yeah, I got one. I'm gonna need two for this one though. Okay, let's fix a car. This right here is one of the most tedious things in the game, I swear to god. When I'm in my driveway, the repair should be faster. Yeah? But yeah, toolkit, watch this, true. You see the door back there? The door's gonna come back on right now. <laughs> I have a door in my toolkit, dude. It's just it's magic. There you go. And the other toolkit's got a windshield and back glass and bumpers and shit. <laughs> These are really super toolkits, man. Yeah, there you go. Here we go. Well done. Okay. Uh, do I have... Uh, of course, I didn't install the press. Let's install that. Okay, so did, we have a red talent trader. We need to get this done. And you're over there. Okay, good. I can get there. <laughs> Wish I could do that. Man, if, if anybody could do that, though, you'd be out of a job, dude. Maybe it's better that you can't, yeah? Okay, I have no ammo for this gun. And... We need to bring some tradable items. So uh, we're going to bring... Uh, I need the CNC mill, though. We're definitely going to bring that. We're going to bring this. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, shut up. It's fine. You'll be fine. Uh, don't need a cooking textbook. Uh, don't need craftsmanship. I'll find another one of those. And not much else to sell. So let's go get. To, let's go talk to this... Uh, let's go to... I just passed in days for me. <laughs> That bad, huh? That bad. Okay, let's put this in here. Let's go talk to the Red Talon Trader, because the Red Talon Trader is nice in that they always have a Stormbringer, a fully loaded Stormbringer, a fully loaded Hornbreaker, and often they have ammo. But I've only got 700... Oh, shit! Get away from me. Alright, big fella, where you at? The good thing is I can just come roaring up to those guys because they'll they'll kill anything that's near them. But yeah, traders are your friends. Always visit the traders. Oh, he's in the park. Okay. See here I'm driving full speed like an idiot, but I'm doing that because I know the red talon guys. Another brogan there, huh? What I do is I just train them into the guys. I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Come here, guys. Do some work. Hello there. Protect me! Hi. Red talons. Yeah, red talon don't fuck around. <laughs> okay, anybody else? No? No calm? Good. What's up, Nicole? Um, wow, you're getting a little excited. Are you done yet? Okay. Jesus Christ, you guys done now? This will slow me down. Okay. Where you at? Hey, big fella. Let's make a deal. Yeah. Yeah, he's got 1,250 implants. So we're going to sell that stuff first. Grab ourselves one of those. And <gasps> grab that. Because we need ammo. We need ammo. Down to five ninety nine. I can get one more. Come here, you. Hey there, business partner. Sure. Dun, dun, dun. Your red talent died. Oh, the the mission. Yeah, they don't. Uh... You got something for me? Yeah. They don't. Uh... The red talent. Oh shit! I bought fuel by mistake. God damn it! I thought it was ammo. Well, I'll sell it. Well, do I need... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Fuck it. Whatever. I bought it. Might as well grab it. Okay. He was one survivor. Yeah, when they have the missions where they say time is of the essence and shit, uh, as soon as they spawn, they either spawn alive or dead. There's nothing you can do. You can't you can't beat the clock if they're going to spawn dead. So there's nothing you could have done on that one. You just get to loot those. But it's nice because they always have good gear. Well, reasonably decent gear. Same thing with the network trader, the network missions. They say, oh, we need, we're in a hurry, we need your help. They spawn dead. Uh, there are a lot of missions like that where 
you can't and unless they die as you get there they spawn dead i mean because i've watched i've had one spawn before right next to me and they just spawn and then just die just boom so that's how i know it doesn't work like that that you can't there's no timer on it the only time it matters is if the timer is actually on the screen Hmm. Okay. So, we've got ammo and fuel and a new Stormbringer. Okay, so we're getting there. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Of course, now the fucking sun's going down. And I only got, got an empty base and only got 249, 249 influence. So I need to get some influence here somehow. Um, I'm on yeah. the way. Eviction time for the... Hmm... Can I actually do that? Clinton, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh... Tough job, but someone around here should lead us. Huh. Jess... Jess is my agriculture. She's three morale. She's got endurance, though. And Brianna's tired. You know what? Okay. Let's take a chance. Let's take a chance. Ha! You know what? Let's do this. Let's be a total dick. Yeah? Let's be a total dick. Let's take... Let's go grab the... Um, Let's go grab the, the soldiers. And uh, can I drag a horde over to them? I can, well, I can. I can also run them over with a car. But what I'm going to do is completely cheeseball it. I'm going to take, I'm going to go get the soldiers. Have them go with me. I was bored, so I went out and found a few things. <laughs> and see if I can't kill them that way. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to see how tough enemies, uh, human enemies are to kill. Now, see, look at this. See, see, look at that. Got a horde walking by on the road, and they're just not even coming in. Yeah, and I'm at, I'm in my base. Yeah, I mean, sure they're walking through the uh, they're walking through the the safe zone, but they're not coming in the base. In in this Colonna's brewery, they'd already be in the base. So we're gonna wait here, and it's still daytime, so I have a decent chance of seeing them. So let's do that. Come on, soldiers. Watch the soldiers won't even fight though, right? They won't even. Let's see if they do or not. Okay, this. This is risky as fuck. I should not be doing this. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Look at this. Another horde. Hordes fucking everywhere, man. And we're on day four. Yeah. We're on day four. All right. First pass my back windows on. Okay. Good. So the armored guys are dead. Mikasa, Sukasa, or whatever. Now we'll let them kill the rest of them. Cause I ain't proud. Look at that AI. Isn't that great? Look at her. Look at this. Just completely ignores him and comes after me. Okay, good. All done. All right, come here, you guys. Uh, clean. Where you at? I hear somebody out there. Maybe we're not gonna die after all. Come That's on. Cool. Seems like you could use another hand. Come on, quit fucking around with them. Come on, dipshit, get in the car. Come on, get in the fucking car. Can you get in the fucking car, please? Before the zombie runs a hundred yards to get in the car. Can you get in the fucking car? Oh, God. Even after all this time, the AI is still atrocious. Okay. So here we go. Get out of here, okay? That is not happening. Your little rain in Paris, is done. Say your prayers, asshole. Burst mode, baby. 
more. I never get used to the Ta-da! All done. We just showed <laughs> everyone else in town that we don't put up with troublemakers. So that's what it takes to kill human enemies. And you saw the second one. I didn't kill him right away. Wow, that one's flying. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Okay, all done. Now let's see what you guys got for loot. Eh? G77? Seven, seven? No. They probably got shit for loot. But we're going to take it anyways. Dun, 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 dun. Diamondback neighborhood? Alright, we'll do that. Ooh, a metal bat. That's nice. I'll take that. Dun, 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 dun. See, normally what I would do is make an outpost out of this place, but I ain't got the influence for it, so I gotta just loot them and just take the choices stuff and put them in the trunk. Um, yeah, that's not that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. Um, where the fuck? Come on, come on. Okay. All right. But yeah, okay. So Lady X, that's why I take Horde Breakers and Stormbringers to kill these guys, because you gotta burst them with a 7.62 to drop them without them shooting. Also, what you can do is if you're smart and you're better than me, or uh, you got better reflexes, throw a flashbang in there. It'll stun them, and you can just drill them. Bloater gas grenade, same thing. You can just completely just disorient them. Or you can bring chum like these guys, use them as bait, and uh, and drop them that way. But you'll see, you'll notice where I parked, right? Yo, what's up, neighbors? Uh, you sure could use a hand over here. There's no door on this side, and there's no close window on this side. Because if you park near the door, they can sometimes come out before you get in there. Uh, if you stand in front of the door, more than one can shoot at you at the time. If you come up in front of a window, they'll shoot you through the windows. And it's bad news all around. So find yourself a place where there's no doors, no walls, no windows. Where you can cover the, uh, you can cover the approaches. It will save you a great deal of grief. And then these are kind of assholes are going over there. Dude, you gonna kill him before he starts yelling, or you know what? Oh, you're just gonna climb the fucking fence. You doing some cardio? Look at this shit. Now that's some quality AI right there, isn't it, guys? I'm gonna stand here. Okay. Do they have supplies inside? Okay, let, let Twain shut the fuck up and I'll, I'll get right with you. I wish I could turn off the network channel. I, I wish there was a, an option to turn off the network. Because he just keeps talking. And I'm like, Ugh. I can see this place being a pretty useful outpost. They don't have... Do you mean, dude, like, does this enclave have, like, a cache of shit? No. They just have what they're carrying on them. Uh, the warehouse has what the warehouse has, you know. But there's no, there's no like treasure ch loot chest for them they just all they have is what's on their backs which i grabbed the good stuff anyways i don't bother with small backpacks and uh, the shitty weapons because it doesn't really matter fantastic we've got a screamer no we don't shut up dude i gotta go back to base and refill my car but these guys did a good job they tanked for me pretty good but yeah, even after all this time, we play. I play this game, right? And I love it. I love it to death, but it's got its issues. And one of the things that drives me up the wall is how shitty the AI is, the follower companion AI. It is terrible. Do place. not use followers in this game. Do not use followers. Just don't. Unless you want them to get a kill. If you want them to die, then yeah. Um, it says there's... Oh, look at that. Okay. okay, come on. Done yet? No? Okay. Alright. Let's pull this shit away and get another toolkit. Those people were infestations. No. The people were infestations? What the, the the guys I just killed? No, they're just um Okay, hang on a sec, folks. Uh, let me put that compost bin in here. Okay.
This here, clean all infestations in Diamondback. Yeah, this is for the soldiers. When you take this mission, it spawns three. It spawns three um, infestations for you to clear. Uh, but I took them along to kill the enemy enclave because yeah, I needed bait. Oh, I need a bigger workshop, don't I? Come on, upgrade. Upgrade the workshop. Oh, I got to upgrade the watchtower. Shit, I forgot to do that. Okay. All right, let's get some building going on. Okay. Now we need to get. Um, yeah, one toolkit should do it. Because, you know, I, I'll take the soldiers with me on, the, on those kind of missions. Because if they get killed, I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's like, whatever. I'll loot your shit. You probably have decent gear on you because you're ex-soldier, so whatever. But um, other than that... Okay, we're going to clear out infestations and we'll need to fix this car. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> okay. Do, 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 do. And look at that, another horde already. So yeah, that's uh, that's another thing that's different in Dread. Hordes are crazy. They are constantly popping up. And they're huge. Okay. So John, if you're watching this, same as before. Drive by fast and loud. And keep going. And then turn around and wait for that screamer to come out. Where is he? There he is. Let's 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 nip them off. Okay. Glad that's taken care of. I'll hit screamers with the front because they don't do a lot of damage with the car because they're so yeah. they're so squishy. Come on, boys, let's bring out. Come on. Oops, I did it again. There's one. I like how the soldiers talk, talk trash when they're inside the car. You're like, dude, you haven't, like being on the winning team. you haven't even gotten out of the car, dude. Okay. Do it again. Go by it fast and loud. And then drive away. And then turn around. And look for the screamer. Always get the screamer first if you can. Always get the screamer. And there he is. Hey, big fella. How you doing, dude? Not so good, I guess, huh? Now, if you drive away in long straight lines, they'll tend to group up, and you can just mow them down a little easier on the backside. And these should be the last of them for this infestation. No? Oh, it's you. No? Oh, there's two more over here. Jesus. Slippy little bastard. Alright, fine. Never underestimate. There we go. There we go. Last time pays for all. <laughs> Hellion brings all the Z's to the yard. And there's the screamer. Always pick off the screamer first, guys. Always, always. Glad that's taken care of. Because once he's dead, it's just a matter of cleanup on aisle three. And as we've seen, toolkits are cheaper than bullets. That isn't good. And the door's already gone, yeah? Two infestations in the two two infestations in the door just falls off. While hitting them backwards. Okay. Well done. Still more of them straggling in because they just keep fucking coming in. You seem you seem lost. Are we done here? I think we're done. Ta -ta -ta. They've had enough already. Okay, are they going to kill him? Oh my god, she actually went after him. Take a screenshot of that. While I'm here, I might as well loot this place. Thermobaric weapons? I don't know what those are. Yeah. I think I'll take that. I tend to go for the blunt force trauma approach. Because <laughs> it's satisfying squishing these little bastards. Maybe someone would want this. I would. It's a gas can, girl. Shit. But yeah, so we're at a fuel depot, right? I'm not going to get any fuel out of this. I got a gas can. I'm not going to get any, any rucks out of this. Yeah? No rucks. Because this is a circuit box. There can be no gas can in a circuit box. Stretchly. Yeah, exactly. It's it's decompression therapy, Dag, is what it is. Yeah. 
So there you go, Lady X. Perfect, perfect example of the shit loot in Dread. We came to a fuel depot that has three fuel pumps in it, and there's no gas. There's no, there's no fuel rucks in it, like none. <laughs> Just a handful of parts, a first aid kit, and some random meds. That's it. Well, you know what? I'm not driving you assholes home. You can walk. But see, that's why you have to hit vendors because that's the thing. You get so much influence, right? If you're active. Good work, that, buddy. Uh, you're welcome. Say, if you ever need backup out there, let us know. Take care, okay? Adios. Okay, now what have you got? How about we see what we've got? Might as well. M4, sighted Scar H. You got any ammo on you? You do, and it's only 125? I'm buying that. <laughs> I need ammo. You like to farm influence? Yeah, so do I. Normally what I do is, is I'll sneak around and just do stealth kills on zombies at night. But what I need to do is loot. Because I need stuff to trade. But yeah, kill freaks and uh, kill freaks and infestations and you know whatever. And look, another horde. What's that? The 15th, 16th, 18th one we've seen tonight. No, not the front. God damn it! I hear you, girl. Come on, me fella. Hop on, dude. Thank you. How about that? Oh, so that's a good. This is a good time to point out a tip about barrels. Okay, they will rip doors off faster in this mode, but not as fast as in Heartland. But what you can do with barrels is people say, "Well, I can never, I can never get close enough. I can't get them. I can't get close enough to a thing. I always spawn in the field." But what you do is just lure them. You know, make them follow you, and. Uh, only slow down when you get near a fence, like I did there, right? You you heard him, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to ease over to the fence, and then I'm going to stop. And then as soon as he touches me, boom, he's dead. Sometimes I'll get closer to the fence where he hops on and he kills himself just getting on the car, which is also fucking hilarious. Okay, what do we got? Come on, man. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just going to put this in here. Put this in here. We're going to put that... And look, another horde. They just wandered up. Armored Zed. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. And see, this is why I don't hang around my base, right here. Because the AI sucks, they're all gonna fucking die. Because they won't fight back. We got a lot of Zeds on our doorstep. If you're ready to fight, come on over. Great, you know, I went inside already. Fantastic. Unless we want attention from the Zeds, Oh, thanks for kicking under my hand, you dumb bitch. Jesus fucking Christ. Look at them fight! Oh, they're not. What the fuck, guy? Can you kill him? Are you serious? God damn, what the fuck, dude? Not today. Oh, she's got endurance. Oh, fuck this. Come on, boy. Can't let that one up. Oh my god, what a pain in the ass. You wish to remember a thing? It is, but the armored ones have armored legs. So you can you can actually shoot the legs off of them if you want to burn all the ammo. But if you're going to waste that much ammo, you're going to shoot them in the head. But normal zombies, yeah, you can totally shoot their legs off, cut their legs off. It, the 7.62s work really good for that, too. But uh, armored zombies are... Um, armored zombies are the... Uh, the lazy developer's way to make to add difficulty. Just triple the armor, triple the health, and leave the players the same. Oh, look, guys. Another horde. And it's XL, which means there's going to be a... Uh... Yeah, no, shut up, Mr. Yeah, there he is. You hear him? Come on, Mr. Farrell. You want to eat little piece of shit? Come on. Well, I got something for you, buddy. Come here. Good dog. And look, more armored Zed. Yeah? And I can't make armor-piercing bullets. So, um, sure. Come on. Hurry the fuck up, please. God, I hate wasting the ammo on these assholes.
Yeah, so I was killing them in the driveway for what? I killed, what, eight of them in the driveway, and they only now started shooting? Sure. Great. Thanks, guys. Nikita, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Yep, yeah, I'm doing Can I use the satellite influence bonus? Yeah. I can, but it's only 10%. And I was I was building, you know, so I didn't really have the uh, the ability to do that. But let's do that now. In fact, wait a minute. Do I have an antenna? I don't, right? Right. I don't have an antenna. Let's go crank that up. I don't have the 20% one because I haven't. Uh, ha! Let's do that. That's what I need. And then we're gonna hit the con the compost bin. All right, partner. And we're gonna hit feast. Oh, we don't have the labor for it. Do I have a slow cooker? I do not. Okay. So the watchtower is built. The shoulder flip, yeah, that's the endurance special. If you look at endurance here, uh, our LB plus X is slam attack, which is, you know, the, the, the suplex. I don't like it because it burns a lot of stamina, it takes a long time, and the finisher takes a long time. But sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, yeah? Okay, now this shit's over with. Um, yeah. Let's burn, let's make some ammo. So yeah, normally it's two ammo units to make this. Now it's three to make nine millimeter, but I need to make them. I gotta get a chemistry book, man. Let's just make four, right? And then we'll um, pull that out, switch it up, put the uh, put the uh, ammo. Hey, that guy, but I gotta ask how that favor's coming along. Um, you know what? I'll help you out, dude. I mean, I've got some materials here. Put that in there. Put this in the trunk. Oh. Didn't want to do that. How much gas I got? I got plenty of gas. Okay. Put that in the trunk. Let's get my, uh... Nacho, how you doing, baby? Welcome to the stream. Gotta have to fix the car. I don't like driving the cars without doors on them. Just in case. Because you never know what you're going to run into out there. Well, you do. It's going to be death, but... Okay, let's see. How much fucking influence do I have right now? How much do I have? How much do I have? 664? Hmm. Hmm. Why no melee weapon? Because it's heavy. It's heavy. I, this gun is too heavy. And I, I, I have to travel light, Nikita. See where it says the weight? 15 pounds. This gun with the with the professional suppressor weighs 13 pounds, so I can't carry anything with the lightest, absolute lightest melee weapons. I'd rather not have one at all, because running light. Oh look, another horn. Because running light is hugely, hugely, no hugely I'm here important. To help. No, I'm not. Well, damn time. Yeah, fuck you, dude. I don't want for you. you're here, the happier I'll be. Yeah, I'm not doing that, dude. I ain't got the ammo. I ain't got the time. Sorry, not sorry. Whatever, I don't care. It's not over yet. Get them down. We may have a bit of a problem. Whatever, get that off my screen. Here they come. Everybody back to work. I can't fucking see. Get that thing off my screen. Thank you. All right. All right, let's go get these guys some materials. And start cultivating ourselves a new... Uh, Again, when you get out of the car, get the fuck away from it. So look at this, four of them just sitting there waiting for me. No, we're not doing that, big fella. You go back. I'm going to go back over here. Drag you to the house, eh? Also, in a pinch, if you have a lot of ammo, you can stand on the car and just wait. Yeah? Just wait for things to quiet down. Y'all done? Oh, you guys are the friggin' sheriff Yo. mission people. What's up, man? Well, good. If I recruit you, I get a sack of meds. Yeah. I appreciate it. You better change the friendly. See ya. Yeah. Damn right. What you got? 
Yeah, 175. You got no weapons. Okay, you ain't got nothing towards the pits. So, yeah, when the sheriff mission came up before, remember it said, uh, you know, um, doing the thing. They had that one enclave that steals the meds. This is that enclave because she's got the med rucksack on her back. In fact, are you any good, Nessie? Hey, you're not dead. Driving? Yeah, I won't miss you. You've got some kind of good health skill, though. Okay. So here we are here. This is a gun shed, so of course it's empty. There's another gun shed here, which of course is fucking empty. But now I'm down here. I've got an outpost. Uh, I guess I could be doing some stuff down here, right? Hold on one second, boss. Had to clear my throat. Hmm. So now we have... I have not explored that corner. But yeah, see, we've got the roadblock here. It's going to have shit in it. And we've got meds here. But the beautiful part is... Yeah, you know what? Let's go fucking murder another play card. Let's do that. Let's go murder a play card. At night, which is a dumb, 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 dumb thing to do. Off to work? Alright, Scott, thanks for stopping by, man. Hope you had some entertainment listening to me bitch about the AI. <laughs> and uh, if you do play this game, I hope you may have taken away some information that was useful. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I ain't playing. I know I've got some scent block in here, so I'm going to grab that. Because I know we're that... Uh, been kind of out of it. It's all good, Dad. It's all good. We understand, dude. We understand. you got to do you, man. Well, I mean, not like that. But, uh, okay. So we have enough there. Do I have any scent block? I have one. I have one. Do I want to do that? Do I want to do that? How's my car looking? The car's fine. What worries me, what concerns me, Dag, from a tactical standpoint, is at night I can't see bloaters. It's really hard to see bloaters at night. Especially when I'm concentrating on burning down a play car without dying. So I am very strongly tempted. She's got, yeah, she got seven marathon. Fuck this, we're using it. We're using it, and I'll figure it out later. Because right now it's too dangerous. That's all I have. It is too dangerous to not do this. So now we can just run. Let's just jog right the hell on over there. Because I know that plague heart's got to be in the garage. There should be usually. Of plague zombies around here. Yeah, whatever, you're fine. The plague heart should be in the bottom here. Oh, can I actually? Where's the stink? Now, if you have a problem you finding the plague heart... You think we should get heart, rid of some of these infestations, maybe? Yeah, you maybe shut the fuck up, okay? Just shut up. I'm trying to hear the zombies, and I'm trying to hear the plague heart. I can't hear when you're yapping, Jess. Okay, so if you look at the if you look at the house, the stink cloud should tell you where it is. And I think this one's in the garage here. I think it's inside right here. When you go in the house, they spawn shit. Oh, it's upstairs. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, you know what? Let's close this door behind us. Normally, I don't like to do this, but since I got scent block on, I know that the feral comes in, he'll be coming up the stairs. And there you are. How you doing, big guy? Okay, anybody else coming? Okay, so if you watch this later, if you watch this stream later, if you get to this point again, I want you to look at the sound waves on the minimap when I unload on that play card and see how much noise these guns make now in this, in this, uh, it's a lot, even with a professional suppressor on it, okay, it makes a fuck ton of noise, so, um, Something you want to be aware of, too. When you're first starting on Dread and you're using guns, kind of keep an eye on the minimap, you know, and look to see how big the sound waves are to give you some idea of how much noise you're actually making. It's Trust me, it's a ton. Let's be fun. I hear you, Mr. Farrow. You know what, dude? I'm going to come murder your ass. Where are you at? Make some noise. Yeah, come on. It was loud. I know it was loud. I hear you. Where's he at? Okay, so I smashed the door, right? 
How many Zeds are going to show up? Only three? That's not bad. Where the fuck is that feral, though? Come on, man. Where you at, son? I heard you. You know what? Let's clear this right now. Let's just... Yeah. Let's make these safe right now. While I'm here. Yeah. Okay, good. That'll save me some time later. Yay! Alright. Broadcast complete. Of course it completes after I finish killing the plague heart. Why wouldn't it? But yeah, this is what nice thing about scent block is they just ignore you. But they will follow sound. Yeah? They're coming to check what the sound is, right? Look how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Straggler still wandering in. Seven, eight. Yeah. So that's why you don't make noise. <laughs> I need this stuff. Okay. Let's go back to my safe place here. La di 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 da. Did I get a toolkit that time? No, no toolkit in that one. Interesting. Interesting. Longer. Come on. Stagger your way over there. Alright. So we're done with that. 11 more samples, which is nice. Once I find a damn plague researchers, I'll be able to, um... Okay, you know what? I need smaller guns, man. I need some small, quiet guns. I got a thousand? Uh, yeah. Tell you what, let's go get some guns. Let's go get some guns. I'm in the trunk. Top off my health. I got my gun. I got 27 rounds. That may... Of course, if I run into a jug, I'm fucked anyway, so whatever. But, uh... Let's see. We need that. Top off my health. Grab a can of gas. Getting low on those. But that's okay. Da -da -da. Yeah, let's just refuel it now. Yeah, it's a little bit, uh... My car's a little bit on the on the chunky side. Chef Boy <laughs> Nice. Nice. Yeah, it's a little uh it's a little um damp. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go uh show you all the guns I like on the uh oh, look another horn. Um on the bounty broker. Because uh, the nice thing about the Bounty Broker is the latest update, Content Update 12, put all the Echo Weapons in here, okay? And the Echo Weapons are beautiful for upgrading to Dread and uh, upgrading to Dread Nightmare because they all come with integrated suppressors. Integral, su int in int int bleh, integral suppressors. And one of them in particular is extremely nice. And definitely gets the Sardeliac seal of approval. And he's down here, isn't he? There he is. But see, nice and quiet, right? We go real slow, real easy. Nobody gets excited. They won't attack him. And he won't he won't fight them. So we get away from the car, we wait for everything to calm down. We sit out here for a little while. Yeah? Yeah, guys, just... And now she's running aimlessly around the car because... Because AI. See, until she settles down, I can't sneak up on her. Okay. G4, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Okay, so if you have not been uh, paying attention to the sound waves, Watch the minimap right now. You ready? That's how much noise this suppressed gun makes. Yeah, no. I'm not doing that. Okay. How you doing, big guy? How you doing, G4? How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Okay, so let's talk about bounties. 
Here are all the guns from the Echo Pack. This gun right here, and this one's my favorite. Okay, the MP5 SD from the Critical Response Pack. This thing is 9,000 kinds of sweetness, yeah? The problem with this gun is it costs 850 influence, which it's worth, but if you're strapped for influence, this little bad boy right here... Oh, wait a minute, hold on a second. Let me check something really quick. Yeah, they're the same weight. This little bad boy right here is sweetness. Buy if you if you want a good training gun, a good knock around gun, a good a good all purpose nine millimeter high durability, quiet, good scope, stable. This thing is the fucking sweetness. It's got a decent range. It's got a decent scope on it. Reticle shrinks down nicely. It reloads fairly fast. It looks cool as hell. Yeah. Because it's a straight-up MP5, you know, MP5 with a folding stock and an integrated suppressor on it, yeah? But, uh, yeah, strongly recommend you get this gun. I, I endorse this gun very much. I love this gun very much. <laughs> okay, so let's go across the river here. We'll go behind the Jolly Collie. Okay. get back to our base because it's dark the night is dark and full of zombies and of course don't overdrive your lights at night now see the messages pop up on the left there all the effects have changed that means my water just expired so now what we do is we just go to the base screen tab over twice go down and that's it and now we'll have my water back yay water free water why don't you marry it <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna marry it, Jake. I learned my lesson. I've been married. I've been married. I have done my my. Uh, I've done my time in the marriage trenches. I'm uh. I'm pretty much done with uh. Those sort of. Okay. All right. You know what? Let's test this gun out. Let's do that. Let's just test it out. We got a horde there. I got 30 rounds. It's so weird to see. Yeah, that's the thing. When you play Dread, you got to get in the habit of not running over his heads, man. Okay. Now here, you listen to this thing. Ready? So tasty. So tasty. Dun, dun, dun. Now that I got the ammo press and some ammo stocked up, I can buy 9mm. And I don't have to worry so much about, uh... Come on, motherfuckers, you want some? You think you're sassy? Come on, man. But yeah, look at it. They know where I'm at. They can hear this gun. They can hear the gun from that distance. Suppressed. Yeah. To give you a reminder, this is how quiet this gun is. It is literally 80% on the quietness bar, and they can still hear it from like 40 feet away. So keep your ears open, man. When the zombies start coming, you can hear them. <laughs> it's no Pancor Jackhammer. I don't know that reference, Dag, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree with you. It definitely is not. It is, it is it's what you call a wet work weapon. It's something that you use up close and personal. Something that doesn't hit very hard, but you can really aim it really well. And it is just delightful. How many? Three samples? Okay, so the plague samples are still the same. The cost for plague samples is still the same. And I got 18 ammo. Does she have any in the car? I've got one in the car, don't I? No. I got plenty of meds. Plenty of meds. I got ammo. So I need ammo. That's my biggest expense in every mode is ammo. Oh shit! Didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's put the let's put them back in here. Is a shotgun? Okay. Look it up after the stream. You know the weapon. If you don't know this weapon. Okay. Alright, Dag, I will do that. I mean I do have I do have a a, a devgru on here which is a a drum fed fully automatic shotgun and it's terrifying. But um Shit, I guess I just gotta wait to make some ammo here.
because I got is is it in the do I have it in the thing? Yeah. Here. This is the this is the Devgru infiltrator. Let me show you this gun right here. We got this beast right here, which is a, a 30 round drum fed automatic shotgun with a sight on it for some reason. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this thing this thing is noisy as fuck. It, it it's <laughs> it is very noisy. But I keep it for base defense because if I need if if I if we get to the point where an NPC needs to be shooting it, I don't really need to be uh, concerned about noise. All right, so I got a light crossbow. Let's do that. Do that. Uh, break that down. Break this down. So I need the parts. I need the parts. SP five K custom. Muzzle brake, dot sight, and accurized trigger. Doesn't have any other mode, it's just single. Okay, you go in there. You get scrapped. Do that. Save that to give away. Scrap that, I'm not going to use it. And then sighted Scar H. I got two Stormbringers and a SOCOM and a Timberwolf. I don't need you anymore. Okay, those are done. La dee 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 da. Scrap some of these weapons. Comma's a piece of shit. Ultralight axe. Well, oh yeah, she's got um, a light weapon now, so she can use that now. Uh, pipe is crap. Trench tools crap. Mind your axe also crap. Uh, let's get rid of that. Eskrimus stick don't need mace. Oop. Okay, so now we got some parts. Yay. Um, that's right. Get your bat on. Um, oh, I got ammo. Nice. Come on. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Well. All right, Jeff. Thanks for stopping by, man. Hope you uh, hope you enjoyed the stream. Okay. So we're gonna leave these guys here because I'm gonna have to. Uh, I think I just hit a wall in terms of my ability to continue and be animated and. Basically, I feel like I'm going to pass out. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call the stream right here a little early tonight because it's been a long week and I just, I thought I had more in me than I did. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the old, I want to thank y'all for stopping by, sharing your Friday with me, and uh, spending the, I guess, what? Two hours we did here maybe something like that um i hope this stuff was useful for you and i hope you uh got some value out of it uh lady x <laughs> i hope there was some information in here that is will help you ease you into the transition into uh into dread mode but it's slower going right it's very influence heavy it's very trader dependent and uh you got to be just cautious but as long as you're careful as long as you're conscientious and as long as you listen, as long as you learn to hear zombies, because you won't see them on the minimap, you'll be fine. And, you know, just run. <laughs> you just got to run. Uh, if you had a good time tonight, I'd appreciate you clicking the like button down there. And normally at this point, I'd say, if you like what you see, click subscribe. But I don't really stream SOD2 that much. So if you do like this kind of thing or if you enjoyed the show, maybe you want to subscribe and I'll, it'll pop up sooner or later. And you can just ignore the Fallout stuff, yeah? But anyway, I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, y'all.